Hey, here's my second video for uh, this dreary Monday morning. I just wanted to give you a little update here on uh, what I did last night. All right, check this out. All right, we finally made it. To men's restaurant and bar. <laughs> Been trying to get there for about eight seasons, and I never found the time to get it done. But we went there last evening, and of course, got a picture taken from uh, the young lady that was photographing uh, anybody that wanted a picture taken. I thought, you know what? Yeah, let's get a let's get a picture taken. And there it was, you know. But um, let me tell you, we went in there, and uh, um, of course, you you have to have reservations, which I should have realized that, but I didn't. So we uh, get to the front counter there, and uh, the uh, lady took our name in that, and, and then she gave Carol this, uh, for lack of a better thing, one of these. It, it buzzes everything, you know, or it gives you a buzz when uh, you're ready to be seated. So uh, we went over to the bar, had a couple of uh, beers, Miller Lights, and uh, there was a country folk singer there, a young lady, and uh, she was really good. She did a lot of Neil Young, uh, the Eagles, and stuff like that. So we sat there uh, maybe 25 minutes, all right? Then we finally got uh, buzzed in, and uh, we went and got something to eat. I had the uh, stuffed flounder with um, uh, crab meat. Oh, man, was that? Oh, it was just right on the money. And then for an appetizer, I had um, uh, green to fry, fried tomatoes, not green, fried tomatoes. And I, when I seen it there, I said, so they're green? She goes, no, no, they do them with red tomatoes. I said, really? Because they're re if, you, if you cook anything, you know it's tough to fry a red tomato without losing the insides, if you know what I mean, okay? But uh, I said, you know what, I'll try those. And, and they were really good. You know, I, I talked to the waitress, and she went back to talk to the people in their bakery department. They have a special department there, apparently, where they do all the breading and that. And I guess uh, she asked, and the guy says, we bread them, you know. Of course, he was really busy. But um, So I'm going to try it with uh, some red tomatoes, you know. Uh, uh, it's not just flour. It's it's the other, the uh, real crunchy, it's not breadcrumbs. Uh, you guys that do uh, cooking and baking, you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, So I'm going to try that out. What did Carol have? She had... Uh, well, she had the tomatoes, too. Oh, she had the seafood sampler kind of thing. That looked really good, too. Uh, she had some fantail shrimp, some big shrimp. I think there were four of those. Then she had scallops, and she had the uh, the wannabe flounder. That's what I call it, you know. She had the breaded tilapia or tilapia, however you pronounce that. And th that looked really good, too. Uh, by the time we got done eating dinner, they come around with this... Uh, uh, tray that's all designed and fixed, you know, set in for a presentation now, all right, with these amazing desserts there, but we didn't have any room for them, so we're going to have to go down there one time just for dessert, you know, that's a meal in itself down there, but if you ever get down this way, go to Men's Family Restaurant, all right, really good food, you know, if there's uh, five stars for a review, I'll give it at least five and a half, if not six, okay? Real good. And as people were walking out, I said, you know, how was the food? How was, you know, how was your meal? And, and of course, delicious, great, great, great. And this uh, group of uh, older women came out, you know. Uh, and I said, uh, what would you have to eat? And this one lady said, I had the chopped sirloin. Well, you know, nothing wrong with sirloin, but this place more or less specializes in the seafood. I'm not going to go in there and have a steak, at least not on the first go around, all right? Maybe next time around now I'll try their steak, but I had to try their seafood, and the seafood is top-notch, all right? So that's my review for Men's Restaurant over here in uh, Cape May.
if you're down this way, make sure you check it out. And of course, over the you know the the winter season, they're either closed or on uh, limited times that they're open. Like yesterday, they were open. Uh, being Sunday, they are open from uh, four in the afternoon until eight. But that place was jam packed. <laughs> so, all right, I gotta go out here and get some work done. We're still trying to shut the place down. I'll talk to you guys later on, right? I love you. Keep on smiling. Cheers.